Hello and welcome to the final part of Kerbal Space Program without parachutes. In this video I have two goals, finish the tech tree and make a space plane, which means I have to go to a few new planets. The first planet I'd be going to was Elu, since the transfer window was only a month away. I built this super heavy rocket called the Odyssey 2, which surprisingly only had four stages. I launched, went into work. While I wait for the transfer window, I should note that while installing real solar system, it messed up the time. And I don't really know how to change it back, so now days are 24 hours and years are 365 days. Once I was lined up with Elu, I set up a trajectory. Despite my 12 nerve engines, I still had insanely high burn times. But after a painful 8 minutes and a few more adjustments, we were lined up. I tried to put myself in orbit, but instead I put myself on a collision course. Maybe, okay? We're stable. One very stressful ending later, we had made it to the furthest planet. I have never seen that before. After doing a few more science experiments, I'm gonna try to go to another biome. Nice. I want to go find a nice chunk. I see one. Well, that's everything that I need. I finished cloaking science and left. I would have to move the heat shield to the front of the craft so I could use the engine. Luckily for me, Kerbin was already pretty nicely lined up, so I didn't have to wait in orbit for very long. This was the part that I was most scared about. I never re-entered Kerbin at this speed before, so I was unsure if I could even survive. I didn't need my engine anymore, so I placed the heat shield back over it. And with my speed being over 4,500 meters a second, I thought for sure I was dead. There goes the landing gear. How are we still alive? But by some miracle, I just barely didn't explode. Holy... This mission would put me up to 8,000 total science, which was almost enough to complete the whole tech tree. That should be enough for the rest of the tech tree. Unfortunately, I was still a little short on money, so I'd have to go to Ike to complete a mission. Since Ike doesn't require as much Delta V as Duna, I used the same rocket that I went to Duna with and figured it'd be just fine. I got a pretty good encounter and then put myself into orbit. If I'm being honest, I kinda sucks. I got the rock, I planted the flag, got my money, and got out of here.
There was nothing really noteworthy about this return besides the fact that there were some fireworks during re-entry. This mission put me at over 10,000 10, signs total, signs which was just God. enough to finish the tech tree. It also gave me enough money to do what I was going to do next. For final destination, I thought it'd be fun to build a one-way SSTO to eat. I thought it'd be fun to base the space plane off the Mandalay from my favorite game, Elite Dangerous. I think it looks alright, it's not great, but it's also the first space plane I've made. And to get it into orbit were these two giant rockets. Yeah, it's boring, but it works. And I thought for sure for a one-way trip I'd have enough fuel, right? Well, apparently not, because things went south very fast. So now that I couldn't land normally like a plane would, I would have to improvise. Look at this. I'm flying it. I figured out that my tail fins would allow me to slow down and slowly fall backwards. And so after a few minutes of falling, I came in for a very graceful landing. This was actually the first time I've ever gone to eat, so it took a little bit of time taking it all in. Once I realized there was nothing here for me, I planted the flag. Welp. Now what? I'd call this a success. What about you, Bill? What do you say? <laughs> he loves it. So now with Bill and Valentina stranded on E forever, I think now's a good time to end. Thanks for watching till the end of my first series. Join me next time when I see how far I can get in the RP1. Have a good day and uh, see ya.